everyone, Danielle here, and welcome to day five of our five day challenge. You have made it all the way through the week, but we are not done yet. This is one of my favorite paintings from the week, so let's go ahead and get started. Today, we are going to be painting these really cool mushrooms. You are going to need a white gel pen, or if you want to mask off your dots, you can do that too. I'm just going to lightly sketch out my mushroom tops with my red watercolor pencil. I'm going to go ahead and use my pencil to draw out the stems of the mushrooms. I want these to kind of be curved. I want them to have some kind of character to them. Normally they're just straight up and down, but I want them to be curved. And just like the other lessons, I encourage you to um, go ahead and take this lesson and then after that, put your own spin on this. You don't, the mushrooms don't have to be red, they can be a rainbow color, you can have five of them, you can do whatever you want to change this up and make it your own. For this first layer of my mushrooms, I'm just going to grab some red and put that down. I'm going to leave the left side of the top of the mushroom alone. I'm just going to let that remain white because that's where our light is going to be coming from. Now I need to mix a gray, so I'm going to mix my red and green together, and I've also added a bit of blue in that as well. Just be sure to swatch this out and make sure it's the kind of gray that you like. You can have a bit more blue in it, you can have a bit more red in it. It just depends on what you want and what looks good to you. So while my paint is still wet, I'm going to go ahead and paint in the bottom of my mushroom. Since the sun is coming from the left, our shadows will fall to the right side, right underneath these mushroom tops. As I was practicing this card in my sketchbook, I really liked how the red kind of flooded into that gray. It just makes the shadows more interesting and it's not just that straight gray. You can go ahead and dry that layer and we are going to start on the grass underneath the mushrooms. Let's go ahead and grab some of our light green and a bit of brown, and that's going to be our first layer for the grass. I'm just using my larger watercolor brush, and I'm just going to kind of messily put down my grass. I kind of want it to dance around, so I'm just putting, patting down my brush. I did add in a bit more water because I wanted to dip in some yellows and some other greens to kind of make that color move around. 
So to darken up my red, I'm just going to mix in just a tad bit of purple and a touch of blue. Now while it's still wet, I'm going to mix in some orange. I really like this bright orange and I'm just going to put a touch of that on each one of the mushrooms. We need to deepen up our grass, so I'm just going to add a bit of brown to the bottom here. And then while that's still wet, I'm going to drop in my darker green. We can deepen up the shadow that's on the stem of the mushrooms with some orange, green, and just a touch of blue. Now I'm going to swatch that over to the side just to make sure it's the color that I like. It's just kind of like a bluish gray. I'm going to switch over to a number five brush and I'm going to just drop in some shadows underneath the tops of those mushrooms. If your shadows ever get too heavy, you can always take a paper towel and just gently blot out what you're not liking. In order to mix a really dark brown, you can add some blue into your brown and add it down here where the grass is. You can see I'm just kind of lightly tapping my brush around, trying to get some texture in there. I'm also going to add some green in as I go along, just so that it's not straight brown. I'm just going to bring up that light green color around the sides. I'm just going to make another mixture of my purple and red just to deepen up those reds on the mushrooms. I also mixed in a bit of orange and just a bit of brown to make that a bit darker.
Now I just put this color kind of at the bottom and around that right edge. I don't want to cover up the previous layers that I put on earlier. And another thing I'm doing right now is just adding a little bit of water into my brush and I'm going to let that red kind of bleed out into the paper. Let's go ahead and mix some blue and some brown. This is gonna give us a really nice color to fill in some of the shadows down here in the grass. You know, after this part was done, I felt like the bottom was too dark and it was kind of heavy compared to the sky area and the mushrooms themselves. So I let it dry completely and I went ahead and wet certain areas with my brush and it was clean water and I just blotted those areas out with a paper towel just gently. Now we can go ahead and add in the white spots and I'm just using my white gel pen to fill in some of the white areas on the top of the mushrooms. Now all we have to do is take some clean water and put that down onto the background of our sky. We are going to just lay in a really nice light blue in the background. So you have made it through the entire week and I want to say thank you for joining me. Now if you are connected to my email list, you will be getting a bonus day six tomorrow in your email box. Now next week I will be doing a part two to this challenge. Next week I'll be showing you ways you can make variations on each of these paintings. I really wanted to do this challenge because I felt like I can give you kind of a jumping off point to start with and then you could just add your own spin and your own unique style to each of these paintings. So meet me back here next week and we'll kind of discuss and we'll talk about different ways that we can expand on these simple ideas. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you later.